Welcome to Q&A with TJ. In this program, we ask your questions to Tariq Javed, and we get his expert responses. Welcome to the program, Tariq. My first question to you is, how resilient is the Saudi Arabian banking system in the current COVID-19 environment, along with low oil prices? Indeed, this is a very good question given COVID-19, but I can assure you that Saudi banking system is extremely resilient. It has had experience of uh, other shocks, wars, conflicts, uh, global and regional financial crisis, and other circumstances which has, which has gone through. And it was always has come up very, very quickly. COVID-19, of course, is a major event. It has affected the economy. It has affected the banking system. And I think what I expect, though, is that despite COVID-19, uh, no bank has ever failed in Saudi Arabia. No bank will fail this time again. All banks will still come out making money. Uh, the level of profits may not be as high as last year, but certainly the banks will do well. And uh, I think uh, on, on the banking side, of course, we expect provisions to be higher this year than last year because of the economic circumstances. But given the funds which have been provided to the banking system by the government uh, and to the economy at large, things will be not too, too bad at all. So banks will survive. And uh, I think overall, I expect things to be reasonably good. I, we should also remember that the economic uh, downturn, which is there, is not as bad as uh, it could have been uh, because of the government's uh, quick action. And uh, as a result, because we are expecting this year to have uh, minus 3% uh, growth in the GDP, which is a turnaround. Uh, the prediction was plus 3%, so a 6% downturn from last year. But overall, the situation is, is not too bad. And the banking system will do quite well this year, and it will really come out very strongly in 2021. Thank you, Tariq. My next question is, the impact of COVID-19 on the global economy is bigger than the financial crisis, yet no GCIPs has been threatened. How do you explain that? Well, this is a very interesting phenomena, and I think simply it can be explained that this time around the world, uh, authorities, central banks, uh, for Ministry of Finance, and the banking system itself had 10 years to, to get ready. The last crisis came in 2007. At that time, just the failure of one GSIPS caused a meltdown in the global economy, which affected many, many banking systems. Many banks were put under pressure. And, uh, but luckily, the world learned, uh, learned the lessons, and this time around, they were prepared. The lifeline that has been put forward by central banks and Ministry of Finance this time was almost immediate. As soon as the crisis COVID-19 came, they were ready with huge amounts of money which they pumped into the banking system and the economy. Also, you must also have noted that the interest rates have been brought down to almost zero. So it means funding is cheap, liquidity is available, and this, of course, is very good for the economic uh, sort of uh, impetus to the economy. Having said that, certainly COVID-19 uh, had a severe impact on the global systems, but luckily uh, the, the banking systems have learned their lesson from the last crisis. Many standards were changed. Uh, for example, capital adequacy rules were changed to have banks create more capital. Uh, conservation buffer, cyclical buffer, GCIP buffer has become part of the jargon now. Liquidity rules were changed to make sure banks always have adequate liquidity to meet their needs. And last but not the least, the leverage ratio was changed to ensure that banks do not leverage their balance sheet too much. One of the reasons for the crisis last time was because GSIPs particularly were doing too much leveraging activity. And this time, because of the, this, these constraints, they are not highly leveraged. As a result, overall, the GSIPs have survived the COVID-19 crisis. And I think uh, I expect from here on that uh, they will continue to, again, strengthen their uh, overall uh, systems. Thank you, Tariq. Uh, my next question is, what is your view about the impact of COVID-19 
on the U.S. election. Well, COVID-19 is a phenomenon which, of course, affects the globe, but U.S. being the leading economy in the world has also been very severely affected by COVID-19. In fact, uh, they haven't reached the peak yet, I think, and they're still far from leveling off on the COVID-19 front. And as a result the econo of the economic downturn, I think the U.S. economy, the GDP, will grow uh, this year as negative six, which is very, very high uh, negative growth for GDP. Unemployment has reached almost 10% or higher. Uh, the banks have been suffering in terms of profitability. Uh, uh, there are other factors, economic factors, uh, indicators like that, which are, all have negative signs. The only thing which I can't explain is the fact that the stock market seems to be going the other way. And only the other day, it reached a uh, uh, peak, uh, which is basically, I think, uh, reflecting the, the strength of the uh, technology companies and IT. But, but apart from that, on the economic front, uh, domestic economic front, things are bad. Uh, also, I think the election will be decided on issues like social justice, Black Lives Matter, and similar social issues, which will be very, very strong impact this time. On the global front, the battle with China still continues, and of course there are other things like NAFTA, the Mexican wall, which is still <laughs> incomplete, and then uh, cornering Iran and uh, uh, so on and so forth. I don't want to get into too much details, but I think the global issues, while they're important, would not have that much impact. I think the real question is whether some kind of uh, anti-virus thing will be discovered before uh, November, if it is, and the peak is contained, then Donald, Mr. Trump, with strong support of very, very staunch uh, sort of constituency, may win. Otherwise, if the eco economy is still in a bad shape and there's no uh, sort of uh, vaccine discovered, then there's a possibility that he may lose. I think vaccine is a key ingredient. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Tariq, for your expert opinion and excellent responses. I'm sure audience would have uh, uh, really been enlightened. Thank you once again, Tariq. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for listening and watching to our program. Until next program, so long.